right, let's see if we can beat this game. That's what that is, okay. Alignment control center, that makes sense. Let's go talk to some people though. Get that done real with, pick up some side quests for post game. The new fella, howdy. Howdy back at you. If you're looking for a side, you might want to trek to the higher edges of the canyon. Is it worth the hike? Wouldn't know, never been there myself. You're too steep to climb, and there's a lot of creatures up there. Some of them won't even eat you. Sounds like paradise. <coughs> it's a tough climb, but you'll find a way up. And you'll see the true majesty of Kobo. I just know it. Those pesky Jawas have stopped poking around my claim. I saw some Jawas in the forest. <laughs> well, you ain't seeing them no more. They made themselves a little village on the far side of the valley. No one's heard a peep from them since. Not one Utini. Maybe I'll see how they're doing. Really? Yeah. Aren't you, Mr. Goody Goody? Sorry. I know you two were close. He's not dead. He betrayed us to the Empire. Huh. Sounds like you're on the hunt then. That's right. Do what you gotta do. Just remember that vengeance breeds vengeance. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. There's a Garako stalking around Dredger Gorge. Oh, yeah? Nasty fella. Reminds me of a creature my sister and I hunted on Piranha. Fast. Strong, tore through everything in its path. Sounds dangerous. And it's all yours. My advice, when it's on the rampage, get out of the way or it'll flatten you. Thanks for the heads up. Later, BD. Did I tell you my latest scheme? Don't think so. With the Empire here, thought I'd have a chance to turn a crap <coughs> selling useless scrap to a stormtrooper. I mean, how smart can they be? Oh. Turns out very smart. He immediately arrested me, smacked my head with the scrap, then threw me in a watering hole. Still getting into trouble, Turgle? Not exactly. In the watering hole, I found a shiny rock that the stormtrooper is sure to buy. Hi, Cal. Hey, Cal. We've been wondering something. Yeah, we've been wondering. How's a guy like you end up in a place like this? Engine trouble. <laughs> Don't we know it. So come on, kid. What's next for you? I've got a chance to find someplace safe. I plan to make good on it. Well, I'm no good with advice, but uh, people who... Hell, I messed it up. I'm just trying to say, listen, the happiest folk live somewhere between what they want and what they got, you know? Yeah, I hear you. Really? Sounds to me like the old man's noodle is starting to fray. Damn it, Dana, I was being... Ah, oh, forget it. How you doing? <laughs> Be quick about it, eh? It is you killed some Jedi relic from the past, the one leading the Raiders. What was the bounty? No bounty. No bounty? You risked your life for free? I don't know. Not every reward is in credits. 
Besides, I'm pretty sure I get free room and board here at Pyloons. Is that what your life is worth, Cal? I wouldn't take you for a gambler. Hey, Hunter. The Hexian bloodhound Vaislin Mark has been sniffing around for you on the mountain. This guy's moving in with his stealth squad, so make sure not to get blindsided. Copy that. Watch my back, BD. Huh. Kind of starting to like that little droid. Kind of. You seem troubled. I just keep going through it all in my head. Lost some friends. I've done something differently. Maybe they'd still be alive. No. When my planet was being invaded by the Empire, I led my family to an abandoned bunker. It had shelter, provisions, a great idea. Until it wasn't. It was shelled. I lost two brothers. It's awful. But you don't blame yourself for leaving them there. Never. That decision was correct at the time. This is how I choose to live. Such a nerd. Quite the selection. A bit busy. What's your academy like? Oh, amazing. Every building is partially suspended with repulsors. The campus looks like it's floating over the ground. It's magical. It sounds like a hard place to leave behind. It was, but things were changing. Looking down, you used to see nothing but nature. The ground is covered in ferrocrete now. All part of an Imperial control zone. Some other time, okay? So how did you end up on the wrong side of the law? After my studies, I worked in the Republic Tax Collection Agency, investigating revenue disputes. You were a tax collector? Sounds pretty legitimate so far. Drearily legitimate. But it did introduce me to a steady procession of people desperate for things to shake out in their favor, so to speak. And you helped them out. For a price. Yes. But my fee was nothing compared to the price they paid at the hands of a corrupt system. Whatever you say, Moran. More Imperials by the day. Looks like the party's over before it even began. Got a second, Monk? I've seen some long faces. Yours is still the longest I've seen in some time. Am I that easy to read? No, you're positively inscrutable. I just happen to be an expert. Now, what's on your mind? I lost some people close to me. Wounds still fresh. I'll bend an ear, if you're so inclined. If it wasn't for me, some friends of mine would still be alive. I doubt that. Most things in this galaxy are out of our control. What we can control is how we react to what the galaxy throws at us. Good advice, Monk. I'll try to follow. You're a good man, Cal. Better than most who frequent this bar. But perhaps that's not saying much. Despite what you may think, the galaxy isn't solely on your shoulders. See you later, Monk. Do you take requests, Ash? You can try. Great. Uh, do you know about... Oh, Maybe this uh, video won't be water. full of talking this time. Although, scuba... Oh, no, no scuba ski. Wait, I got bad news, Cal. Got plenty in my own heart. You don't have to wait. All right. Don't let me keep you. Oi, Cal. Good to see you. The Empire's dreadful, isn't it? Not the word I'd use. Something stronger then? Reprehensible? I'd go even stronger. I didn't want to believe something so despicable could have filled the vacuum left by the Order. I'm busy, young Jedi. 
I think I'll browse a little. That could be a favorite. We're close to finishing this. One way or another. Yeah. I keep thinking about what happened on Nova Garon. I know. Just don't brood so much that you lose your edge. We're counting on you. Yeah. I understand. We're in this together. That's what's keeping me going. Keep your head up. Tanalor is still within reach. But we must not delay. God, just in time. What's happening? Zeke here thinks we should leave Gobo, but I I'm not so sure. You were right. It's not safe here anymore. What if the Empire attacks? I don't intend to live my life based on the whims of our capricious empire. What do you think, Hal? I can't tell you whether it's safer to stay or go. You're better off if we stick together. Yes, I think so, too. We'll let you know if we decide to leave. Yeah, let's chat later. Scuba Steve's not here. I wonder where Scuba Steve is. Our garden's almost full, buddy. Healy, what made you stop your research? I lost my laugh. Once the Empire occupied my planet, it seized my nursery, uprooting every flower, fern, and sapling. That's horrible. Worse, they repurposed my lab into a biochemical weapons facility. All my research now used as a means for death. I refused to cooperate, escaped on an unlicensed shuttle, and here I am. Well, you're safe here. I have been told that before. But when you say it, I believe it, Cal. Any family back home, Peely? They did not survive the Imperial occupation. I'm so sorry. I appreciate that. My parents and siblings were soft-spoken, but all of them were defiant. Like you. I suppose. Now all I have are my plants. They are defiant in their own way. Vines can rise in their harshest temperatures. Roots penetrate the thickest ferrocrete. That is how we will defeat the Empire. Time, time, time. Is there any plant you can't grow? Hmm. There was a rare subspecies of a Puglia blossom that I found quite stubborn. You still seem frustrated by it. No, of course not. <coughs> well, yes. It sticks with me, this one, I suppose. No matter what I did, where I planted it, how I treated the soil, it refused to grow. It was like it was acting out of spite, like a petulant child. Turns out, that subspecies of Puglia blossom only grows in the wild. It only wanted to grow on its own. That's right. You have the mind of a true botanist. We can talk later. Garden's nice and lush these days, huh, BD? There's this droid is still in here. Nice shot. You've been coming around here so much, you're basically a regular. You've got great stuff. Most shop owners would offer a discount or the like, but <clears throat> not me. Nothing personal. You start handing out freebies, you have people up in arms asking, why not me, Doma? <laughs> you don't need to hassle. That makes sense. Satisfying, isn't it? What is it? Protecting this town. What with me keeping people fed, you keeping people alive. You'd need three bodyguards to keep Turgle safe. <laughs> ain't that the truth? It's a lot to take on, but in exchange, you give me something. A sense of purpose makes all this feel meaningful. Yeah, guess it does. You know what I like about you, Cal? You're not always 
bugging me to step in and help you solve disputes and whatnot. I like to try to handle my own problems. Guessing that's the same with you. That's right. A while back, this one prospector got into an argument with the protocol droid. Got so worked up, he got violent. So I stepped in, told the prospector if he laid another hand on his droid, I would ban him from my shop and cut his credit with every vendor in town. So <laughs> that shut him up pretty quick. Since then, well, I've been the closest thing to a mayor this town has. I wouldn't want to mess with you. That's another thing I like about you, Cal. Smart enough to know trouble when you see it. All goods acquired completely legally. Thank you very much. I'll grab this one. I knew you'd pick that up. Go to that uh, central array or whatever. Control. Focus. Alignment control center, that's what it was. <laughs> Master of this experimental facility. Safety protocols require one person to remain here while the arrays are active. Breeze, unless one of us is gonna stay behind, we need someone here to activate the arrays. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll ask around. See if anyone's got a death wish. Maybe Turkle? Maybe not Turkle. <laughs> Purge troopers. What are they doing here? You cannot get me. I'll make you hurt. You're my disappointment.
promising. All the arrays are online. Now we just have to activate them. Free must have locked down the facility when they evacuate. That's not gonna stop us. Oh. <laughs> Oops. We've had some success in dispelling Hobo Matter, allowing us to probe deeper into the abyss. What awaits us within the Kobo Abyss? Join me, and we will work to discover it together. Can't use this lift yet. Proceed to the observation deck to initiate alignment. Gotta hand it to Cree. She thought of everything. platform here. Start the arrays when we're in position. Oh, I stand ready for your order. It would be my honor to see Master Kree's dream alive once more. Will your master? To head back to the mantis buddy and go through the abyss i'm not thrilled about it either but it's the only way we're getting to tantalor Longer than the last. Stop here. Okay, I'm ready. I meant to fast travel there.
Okay, I'm gonna uh, reset the video, but I gotta be right back again real quick.